All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. So, um, so far we have, uh, we've begun discussing this critical element, right, of making sure that we don't just conceptualize and plan a great strategy. We also find ourselves capable of executing that strategy properly. And so in the, in our last video, we started talking about the first step of these critical key actions that we associate with how we build that kind of firm that's capable of actually executing these things, right? And we first dove into the, uh, the first area of staffing the organization. And from there, we want to also uh, take consideration for the second in important step of making sure that we acquire, we develop, and we strengthen those critical resources. Remember, we have revisited this idea over and over about how critical our resources and capabilities are and how basically all of our strategic planning need to revolve around what it is we do well and what we have like unique access to uh, within our organization, those resources and capabilities that we hone. So let's talk a little bit about what this step looks like. How do we develop and strengthen these critical resources internally within our organization? So we, uh, we talk about this as a process as well. We love processes, of course, right? And uh, we talk about three really critical internal capabilities of our firm, uh, starting with this one right here. We've got to learn to develop the capability to do something through these staffing efforts. Our firm needs to develop the ability to do something, however perfectly or imperfectly or inefficiently it happens to be, we have to figure out some way to select people with the requisite skills and the experiences. We need to learn how to, you know, upgrade or expand their individual abilities as needed and help mold the efforts uh, and the work products of our individuals into a really collaborative effort so that we can create some sort of organizational ability as a collective of people, right? We, we touched on this with the staffing before and the importance of those knowledge, skills, and abilities of people, but what's even more important is we continue to develop and strengthen those things. It's not enough just to like bring people in with some capability. We have to continue to strengthen those things in people if we're going to continue to thrive and just have the abilities to pull off some, some you know, hopefully not overly complicated, but likely to be, you know, a sophisticated and complicated enough strategy. So we want to work on continuing to develop those capabilities as a whole, developing them in people so that through those staffing efforts, we can create some core ability to uh, within our organization through the collective works of all the people there. This also includes evolving those capabilities into what we call core competencies. We've talked about core competencies before, how we, uh, how we uh, should focus on developing those core competencies because of the advantage that they, they uh, pose for us as an organization. Well, as our experience grows and our personnel learn how to perform the activities that they have uh, developed in this first round here, right? Once they learn these consistently well and at an acceptable cost to our organization, that ability is going to evolve into a tried and true capability or a proven competence of ours. So if that competence is a key part of executing our firm strategy, it will qualify for this really uh, for this really important uh, was it characteristic of being a, a core competence, right? It evolves from being a capability or just a competence to a core competence as soon as that capability is tied to our strategic efforts and is key to our, our strategy getting pulled off, right? <clears throat> More so, we then have to work on refining and sharpening those competencies. It's, it's an iterative process. We do this over and over. We strengthen these things. We have to continue refining and sharpening those competencies into competitively superior distinct competencies or better yet, turning these things into a competitive advantage. Remember when we talked about the abilities and resources and how these were so important in our firms, distinctive competencies was way up there on that, uh, on that high end. It was one of those that we said, you know, this is, this is kind of that gold standard we're going for, distinctive competencies that we can use as a gateway to competitive advantage. Well, the focus should be on our ongoing efforts to polish, refine, sharpen the performance of some capability or competence 
and aim not only for those incremental improvements, but turn them into best in industry, best in world proficiencies, Core competence involve, evolves into these competitively superior distinct competencies and become that proven path to competitive advantage for us in firms. So it's important that we note this process isn't just constrained to efforts within our organization, okay? We can also use strategic partnerships in order to obtain those capabilities that we need in order to execute sometimes. So remember when we discussed the value of you know, working in strategic partnership with other firms earlier in one of our earlier lectures, right? We can do this in a situation, like in this situation for a lot of the same reasons we discussed in this other context. We can outsource functions of our business where we are capability deficient potentially, or we could collaborate with a firm outside of our industry in some mutually beneficial way that supports both of our firm's strategies. Sometimes it's just about being creative about how we develop that capability, where it comes from, how we evolve it, and how we continue to sharpen that thing into something that is a distinctive competency that really sets us apart, hopefully acting as a gateway to a competitive advantage for our firm. So uh, a lot of firms achieve, uh, achieve those first two stages, but we can understand how moving it to a distinct competency, turning it into a competitive advantage, that's a much harder step, right? It's difficult for us because, you know, the key to that distinct competence is we have to concentrate more and more of our talent, definitely more so than our rivals do in order for us to get, become like put into a dominant space there and be known we're the best for it, right? Um, this doesn't mean that we have to outspend them, like it says, or, you know, in order to build those things, but we have to consciously focus more talent, more effort on strengthening those competences or capabilities. It's just like anything that you try to do to make yourself better at some something that you're uh, you know, trying to develop a competence at. The person who works the hardest at it will usually give themselves the best leg up to become the best at it, right? Our firms fall short a lot of the time, uh, but we should always still work tirelessly on maintaining an ongoing effort to do all of these things. This is why training and retraining employees is so important from a strategic standpoint. Their abilities are directly tied to our firm's ability to develop those capabilities into distinctive competencies. You will find sometimes we have to, as a firm, we've got to shift our strategies so that they require different skill sets even and in order to execute properly. And, you know, we may, we may need to even build those via training in some capacity. We'll always have to use this training element. Um, we also may uh, need to be part of like a rapidly changing industry once in a while. Sometimes our industry, uh, the changes are much more rapid than other times, and that requires new abilities to succeed. Or, you know, we just need new capabilities in order for us to perform better sometimes. So if any of these things are on our firm's radar, Training needs to be at the top of our managerial to-dos, and we can never lose sight of the importance and the strategic, uh, you know, the strategic element of, or how important, I guess, it is to our strategy that we develop and strengthen these critical resources that our employees and people provide us within our organization. It is how we uh, create this corridor to, uh, to core competency, distinctive competency, and competitive advantage, which really that's what we're going for a lot of the time.